This is my attempt at redemption. When you meet an amazing woman, you instantly know that you love her. That's right. You just wait to let those feelings show. But those words, they sit on the tip of your tongue waiting to be released, and you make attempts to swallow them, but it isn't as easy as it seems. You see, before we ever shared a kiss, I loved you. My I would mouth the word silently to you every time I hugged you, and I would hold you tight with no intentions of letting go, and every time you looked at me, those feelings would grow to the point that I fell in love with the way you blinked. My man. Mm. The way you cleared your throat mm. became sexy to me. <laughs> <laughs> and this love for you that I felt from the start became a shared experience from my soul to your heart, and even though we lived several miles apart, I made a promise to love you, and nothing could keep me from you. No matter where you are. But somewhere down the line, things started to change. Somehow, our connection started to fade. Things got out of control, and you felt you got played, and I felt you gave up, and you just walked away. And that's where misunderstanding interrupted our love. So I prayed to our mysterious God up above, but it seemed like he didn't hear me the first time I asked. And this animosity between us, it continued to last, but I just knew in my heart that it was something that would pass. But damn, I miss your ass. Yo, bro. Yo. You see, it all went down in December, the first... January was the first month of the year, so in December, I'm sorry, is probably the last thing you wanted to hear. But it's metaphorically relevant. Please let me explain the metaphor and the relevance of it going down this way. Mm. You see, December is the last month of the year, as you very well know. And you're the last person in my life that I want to let go. You're the last person that I want to let walk away. So this last month of the year, I'm hoping that this last few between us will fade. I mean, have I ever told you how incredible you are? If my life is a movie, then you were my star, my leading lady, the one who deserved all the awards, the one who beyond a shadow of a doubt I'd give my life for. Hey, yo. And I know it takes time to be forgiven for mistakes. I know we may never get back to that inseparable place. I even understand that this is something that may never be erased, but I want you to understand one thing. You're worth it. So don't worry. I'll wait. Oh, yeah.